Y'all, I just want to comment on a couple things, and I'm keeping it real. I'm going to get off here. <laughs> it's a trip. They going on and on about the cop shooting the girl that damn near stabbed the girl in the neck or head. She would have killed her if she just stabbed her in her neck, for real, for real. But I don't get it. The video, like videos, clear black people, videos, clear white people, videos tell the story. The, very, the video told the story. Okay, it speaks for itself. Not only from his house, other houses. What? I mean, the video came from the cop body. What they tell you? I mean, it's tragic as fuck. Excuse my language, don't get me wrong. It's very tragic. But sister girl was wrong than a motherfucker. And I'm from the black community in the hood. Hood. She wrong. And by the way, let me put this out here. No, I'm not up here trying to get no clout. I'm just a YouTuber like everybody else. Struggling to make it and live. And I'm just in the hood. Okay. No, I don't got all them decorations. And I'm just Lady D from Detroit. Boom. Anyway, I'm speaking for people that I speak with in the hood every day because I'm in communication with people every day. Okay, I'm speaking with these people in my neighborhood, and they like, well, shit, she wrong. And they did it right in front of the police. Go watch the video. Before y'all, White House, Republicans, Democrats, movie stars, rappers, before anybody get involved. Go or give up your opinion. Go watch the video. That cop had no choice. And I'm rolling with the cop on this one. And I'm black. I'm sorry. I'm rolling with that cop on this one. He ain't had no choice. It was a spur of the moment. They start fighting in front of this man. What y'all want him to do? He got one on the ground getting kicked in the head. She leave from her with a knife and run over to the other girl. And about to literally stab her. That's what the video shows, so that's what I'm rolling with. So I'm not going out protesting to crucify that man because he didn't do nothing what Chavitz, uh, the other man that killed George Floyd, did. He did not do anything like that, so that's two different stories. Come on now, black people. Go watch that damn video. Go watch that video. And it'll tell you that, I mean... Who's to say where he could have shot her would have stopped her because, keeping it real, that was a big young girl. She was a big young girl, healthy, okay? But I think he reacted the way a cop is supposed to react when you pull up to the scene and you jumping out your car saying, hold on, wait a minute, because they start fighting soon as the police got there. So uh, don't make no opinions. To me, until you go watch that video. If you ain't going to watch that video, then to me, you need to shut the fuck up. And quit trying to get on TV and make it seem like this another Floyd, uh, George Floyd incident, because it ain't. It ain't. No way, shape, form, or fashion can you make her killing none whatsoever compatible to George Floyd. Okay, they rendered to her. They gave her CPR and tried to save her life after they shot her when they didn't have no choice. They didn't do that to George Floyd, so that's no compare. And two different incidents. That was a violent incident, and his was a non-violent incident. Okay, which made cops do him the way he did him. He didn't have no choice but to do her the way he did him. If it was my sister... Honest to God, y'all, I'm being real as real can get. If it was my sister or my brother, and you was on film, and I'm, it'll, it'll hurt me. I cry. I'm going to do what everybody, I mean, what the normal person would do that lose a loved one. But if you go out and do some shit like that and get killed by a police, what can I do? He didn't use no excessive force on her. He did not use no excessive force on that. He didn't have no choice. They started it right when he got there. Okay, now what if he didn't shoot her and let us plunge her in the neck? Then what? Then he'll be getting slack for that. That's how I feel about the situation. And I'm black. I'm not prejudiced. I got white people in my family. Okay, straight up, baby, white people in my family. And I'm proud to have them in there. They one of us. 
So it ain't about that. That ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, y'all better go watch that video because y'all got a damn brain. Come on now. You got a brain. Go watch the video, then make your opinion. Yo, opinion of uh, what you feel the cop, the position that cop was in. Because to me, he did what he had to do, baby. I'm just keeping it real. And we see this in our hood, around our city, every day. Every day. So, he did his job. Leave him alone. I mean, he did his job. I understand she's 16. I mean, baby, when you live a rough life young, you get... Rough results. Simple as that. I'm just keeping it real. I'm black. I got you. I have kids. Young. And things can happen to them out there in the streets. But I tell them. Police stop. You don't try to be Superman. Do not try to be Superman. Surrender. Sometimes even surrendering can get you killed. Did you it happened to George Floyd. So I say that. Stay up. And y'all really need to calm down. Because y'all out here protesting. I'm serious. Causing a ruckus for nothing. Not saying her life wasn't nothing. Because she was something. She was a black human being. But she put herself in a fucked up situation. Excuse my language. She put herself in a fucked up situation. This lady D live from Detroit. Stay up, stay safe. Wear a mask.